Hello, 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 Virgo. This is Nikki. Thank you for joining me for this particular reading. I've already put out your uh, birthday readings for today, August 27th. I hope you check that out and stay tuned. Uh, if your birthday has yet to come, I will put daily readings out for your birthday. All right, let's get started. Don't forget to also check out the prediction reading I put out uh, at, the far, at the beginning of Virgo season. At the end of Virgo season, I'm also going to close the, the season out with the end of Virgo season prediction readings, okay? <clears throat> Let's get a message for you today, August 27th, 2024. Virgo. Let's see you guys what messages you want me to deliver this morning for Virgo. Get out your head, Virgo. You're thinking a little bit too much about something. King of Cups, we got the lovers. You're thinking about somebody. Dreaming about somebody as well. It could be somebody from your past you're thinking about. Um, maybe looking for the strength not to think about this person, looking for the strength not to contact this person, or vice versa. This person could be actually thinking about you as well, especially with it being your birthday or close to your birthday, or someone, of course, within the Virgo season. I feel like dreaming, you're doing a lot of dreaming, maybe having some nocturnal nocturnal emissions dreaming, um, thinking about somebody, thinking about being intimate with somebody, having a lot of a lot of sex dreams, okay? <laughs> okay, I'm hearing this song. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to put R. Kelly's music here, but I'm hearing this song, Sex Me by R. Kelly. So you, somebody's having some um, freaky dreams, all right? So, you know, yeah, there's definitely some energy around you really, really thinking hard about somebody. You know, it's like they come into your mind when you kind of like when you're least expected, when you're busy, when you're doing something, boom, here comes some uh, body you're thinking about from your past. And, and, you know, they just all of a sudden you just started thinking about this person. It was no rhyme or reason. I haven't thought about this person. I haven't heard I haven't heard from this person in a long, long time, months or, or years. But you're still thinking about this person. And maybe you all are thinking about each other around at the exact same time. Their birthday could be near yours or whatever. It doesn't have to be. But, you know, it's like I miss I miss this person. I didn't think I would miss this person as much as I ha as much as I have. But I do. And you possibly have been thinking about them so much that at some point you're going to manifest them. They're going to call or maybe you'll break down and call them just to check on them, just to see how they're doing or vice versa. You know, um, so. Yeah, this is the season. Oh, well, I won't say the season for for them. I just heard the season of miracles. But um, is it, it, something going on? I feel with this person, with their energy that makes you think about them. Maybe they're not feeling well, or or maybe you can pick up on tune, fine tune each other's energies. They can always tell when something's going on with you, or something's happening in your life, and vice versa. So I feel like you're feeding off of each other's energies here. Um, that's not always a bad thing, but you know. Um, it's almost it makes you uncomfortable that you're that you're why am I all of a sudden dreaming about him? Or or why is she all of a sudden popping in my head? I hope that everything's okay with her and in her life or whatever. You so you're finally it's like you're questioning yourself as to why you're dreaming about this person or this person has been on your mind so much or why you're having all these these sex dreams. <laughs> okay. So it's it's kind of it's kind of puzzling to you that that after all of this time, you're thinking about him or or she's she is on your mind, but you don't know why, you know. Um, and I feel like there's still some feelings there, some some residual feelings. They, I feel like you have never totally gotten over them and they have never totally gotten over you. Um, some good memories. Everything was not all, always bad with this individual. OK, there are some good times that you share some good memories um, that they're, they're reminiscing about you. I think reminisce. OK, reminisce by um, Mary J. Blige. OK, I'll put it in the comments. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, I'll put that in the comments for you to listen to. There I go. But they're reminiscing of you. Are you reminisc reminiscing of them? 
and it's like, man, I can't, I, I got the strength, I, I, I can't, it's like you are trying to hold back from contacting this person or vice versa. If somebody wants to contact you or you want to contact them and it, it's just hard. They still have feelings for you and they're having dreams as well. I won't say the same dreams, but you know, sometimes people do have the same dreams or something like that. Like I had, I had a dream about you too. You know, well, well tell me about it. And it's similar, similar dreams or something like that. But, but I think that you had compassion for them and vice versa. Um, but I do see somebody here is definitely practicing some self control by trying not trying not to contact you, trying not to think about you, or vice versa. Okay, there could be somebody else who's watching this reading that's not a Virgo, but you're feeling the same. You're thinking about him. Or you're thinking about her, all right? And, and they're trying to find a way to get past this, trying to have the courage within not to contact you uh, because they still care about you. They really, really do, and vice versa. Like, man, I, that's all I do is think about you. That's all I do is think about Virgo. Well, maybe I should have Virgo something delivered for their birthday, some flowers or or their favorite kind of turtles candy or that, what is it? That chocolate, um, damn. The chocolate hazelnut candy. Oh, I hate that stuff. It's so disgusting. But it's chocolate. It's like a ball or something. It's, people give it to people for Christmas. All that stuff. I don't know. It's whatever that is. I don't know. I don't like that stuff. But maybe deliver you some candy or, or some of your favorite things that you like or something like that um, for your birthday or a just because situation or whatever. But um I just feel like this person is trying their best not to not to think about you. They're trying their best not to um, not to approach. I feel like that they there's some sort of offer that they have for you, you know. Um, but I feel like that they are working extra hard to try to forget about you, all right. Um, but they cared. They they I just keep hearing reminisce about you. They think about you a lot. I feel like you think about each other. At the exact same time that they're th that they're thinking about you, and that's why you feel them so deeply, so immensely. All right, you know, honestly, I don't. I wouldn't be surprised. And I'm not trying to um, make you upset or something, but maybe you are thinking about this person for a reason. There could be something going on with them medically, you know. Um, and I feel like that's why you're drawn to this person. There could be something going on with their arm. They could could have had a stroke or something like that. Like I said, I'm not. We're gonna get out of the energy, but because I don't, you know, I don't like talking about stuff like that. But you know, maybe you're just feeling each other right now. All right. Maybe y'all share some good moments during your birthday season, or, or you just think about them. You're still tied to them, no matter when you broke up with them. You know, you're still reminiscing of them, and vice versa. We don't want to talk negative. Okay. Messages for Virgo, August the 27th. They're reminiscing about you. How are they feeling about you right now? This person who you're thinking about, how do they feel at this moment about you? Whether you get back with them or not, let's just entertain the subject, okay? Or whether you don't, whatever, however the situation is, we're going to entertain this right now. This person who's on your mind, who you're reminiscing about, who's reminiscing about you, how are their true feelings for you? How are their true feelings? Hmm. They're hung up on you. They're definitely hung up on you. Yes. Two of cups. Yep, they are they are still. They're still hooked on you. They are still hooked on you, Virgo. Yes. They, they're still feeling you. They still have feelings for you. Uh they still have strong feelings for you. Um, very, very strong. It, it's like you are or you are hard to forget. They can't forget about you. They they still hold you at a high level of esteem. All right. Five of Cups. They have some regrets about the relationship, about how it ended, though. Um, they always think about you. They sit. I keep hearing reminisce, but they keep they keep you on their mind like all the time and all the things that you went through the things that you experienced they hate that the the ship sailed the love ship sailed away they hate that um they don't like that one bit that that your ship with them has sailed they love you <laughs> they still love you Virgo. i just and you got the six of cups you know that's the soulmate 
you know, I wouldn't be surprised if they try to come back. Um, if not physically, they make a phone call or something like that, or send you some sort of text message or whatever, but they still care. They still care. And, and, and they want to know if you still care about them at least enough to help to hold a, a decent conversation or whatever. I feel like this is really soft love. It's, it's not like it was hurtful or, or, or they did a lot of damage or, you know, maybe you all had to end the relationship. Maybe this was a forbidden relationship. Uh, they were involved with somebody else. You were involved, whatever. Um, there was something possibly that broke you up. It doesn't always have to be a bad breakup. All right. Even if it was a, a bad breakup, you two knew that that it was something very, very special here. But I feel like they 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 look often at what you all shared, the memories. Um, it's like you all had a real, real strong bond with one another. Okay. And and it's it it's, it makes it hard for them to to live their life because they want to live their life with you. They don't want to be with anybody else. And even if you never get back with this person ever. There's nobody else like you. Nobody else like you. They haven't experienced what they experienced with anybody else. It was a beautiful connection. But they're hung up on you. I want to say they hung up on you, baby. And, and, and they're hung up. You hung up on them or whatever. But if I regard you, baby, they still, they, still, they still care for you. They're still hung up on you. And you still have some deep feelings for them as well. There's nothing wrong with feeling having feelings for somebody. You know, you know, if it's meant to be, you'll get back together with this person. If it's not, then it's not, you know. So it, it's 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 like this is a hard thing for you right now and them. Because it's like you're yearning for that person's love and they're yearning for your love. And it was just a soft kind of love. You know, um, I just feel like they just they still care. They still care about you. And it, it's it's like a. It's good memories. At least you still have the memories. You know, you may miss them. They may miss you. And the memories were, were, were beautiful memories. You'll never get that again. And you experience those moments over and over and over again with them. Because it was some good memories. I remember this. I remember that. It could have been your first love. It could have been your first real uh, intimate moment with somebody. You know, you can have sex with people. You can F people. But those people who you make love with, the, the deep, intense love, oh, that's that's memorable. All right. And, and as this person appreciates you and they still honor you. You still make this person smile. The memories that you all share, whatever it was you all did with each other, they appreciate it. They remember that shit. OK, it made them feel good. It made you feel good. And they miss that. They don't have that with anybody else. It's impossible for them to find another you. It'll never be. Okay. That'll never happen. I'm sure they'll find somebody. I'm sure you'll find somebody, but not like that person. Virgo. It's like, it'll never be the same. It may be better, it may be worse, but it won't be like that. Ugh, it won't be like that. Oh, we got the hierophant. We got the lovers. Oh, You know, I feel like this person possibly walked away um, from the connection for whatever reason. I got the Ten of Cups and having the Three of So they want to come back and work it out. There had to be a reason for you all to break up. I feel like somebody got in the middle of your relationship and made it end. It, it ended unexpectedly. Maybe somebody told them a lie. Maybe they were in, like I said earlier, they possibly were in a relationship or, or this was like a forbidden love and, and you walked away or they walked away. Well, that's my man or that's my woman. Don't you understand? You know, possibly out of a, possibly lied to them, you know, because they didn't want that person to be happy with anybody else. And they ended it. They made, they made the relationship made that made you break up with them or vice versa. Somebody else was in the middle of your relationship or the relationship they had with you. Okay. It's like, or the relationship that you have with them, but this person wanted this person saw wifey material or husband material with you. Okay, they knew that you were the one for them. There was this unspoken heat and passion and love, and it was like wow kind of feeling. But but it ended. 
sadly it ended okay it ended and it was and it was because of the false mask that somebody represented and put into the relationship i just feel like whatever happened between the two of you it has something to do with somebody else but we got the ten of cups <laughs> so and it's like man you know i keep thinking about you virgo i keep thinking about how we how we were and and maybe i should reach out or or, or and and see if if we if we could work it out you know um because i miss you virgo i miss you boo i miss you babe i, I just want to work it out with you nobody else matters you know um so i don't know virgo this person may may reach out to you again maybe you've already talking talked to somebody from your past and you kind of Think about them you kind of maybe talk about things reminisce about some things and and maybe you know you'll share a, a nice embrace with this individual you know if they come to visit you or maybe ask you out for dinner or something like that just for for old time's sake okay um just to to talk you know just just because you can you know um the energy is, is sweet sweet energy you know um it's sweet. It's 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 a little beautiful, I must say. Um, this is the kind of love that makes you feel like, man, I'm I'm never gonna find anybody like this. Um, and sometimes true love it will come back to you. All right, it will come back to you. This this could indeed be your husband or your wife coming back for you, your true husband or your or your wife, because they're already your spiritual spouse. All right, they have always been your spiritual spouse, Virgo, and it's the love is so deep. Uh, when you're looking at each other's into each other's eyes, it's like you're looking in the depths of your soul. Wow. 